And it is December 22nd, a couple days before the holidays. Hope everybody is rested and relaxed and all the shopping is done. And if not, uh, you got a couple more days. We are here at Keefe Tech, high above the pool, and it is winter time. We have a TVL meet tonight between Hopkinton Hillers and the Ashland Clockers. Um, Ashland comes into the TVL. We're going to check. We believe they are undefeated. Hopkinton is 2 0 in the TVL as well, with two wins over Norton as well as uh, Medfield. So, as we get ready, this will be an away meet for Hopkinton. Uh, so, you can see the blue flags are going up in the pool. Uh, new tonight on the uh, camera is uh, Jim Tyne, fine uh, father of uh, Il Dolfino, Captain Colin Fine. So, and uh, predecessors, swimmers prior to, uh, a couple swimmers before. So, um, we are going to be uh, starting to meet shortly. And uh, this will be Ashland and Hopkinton. Uh, big meet in the TVL last year. Uh, came down to the wire. Ashland was successful and won the TVL. Uh, as you can see, the numbers are very similar between Ashland and Hopkinton. So this uh, should prove to be a pretty good meet tonight. So we're looking forward to it. We're going to take a quick break while they get the pool ready. And uh, we will be back in a couple of minutes with the start. So what are the signs of an opioid overdose, and how can I recognize that somebody is experiencing one? Well, they're actually pretty easy to spot. A person who is experiencing an overdose may appear confused and have a decreased level of consciousness and alertness. They also may have constricted pupils. When you see somebody who's experiencing an overdose, the number one most important thing to do first is to call 911. Next, do rescue breathing. And finally, take out your naloxone kit and administer the naloxone. Naloxone comes in an easy to use package with instructions for how to use it. Each box of Naloxone may look different. They're all very easy to use and you do not need medical training in order to use it. So who should have nasal Naloxone? Well, everybody should have it to help a loved one who may be suffering from a substance abuse disorder or just to help a stranger in need. Obtaining Naloxone is easy. You can obtain it from your doctor, from a pharmacy standing order, or from any of the Department of Public Health sites. By just following these simple steps, you might just be able to save a life. And we're back. Leading off tonight, as usual, is the 200 meter relay. Hopkinton's going to be swimming in lanes one, three, and five. Lane one, Andrew Deleva out. Lane two, Grace Cavanaugh, or lane three, rather, Grace, uh, Grace Cavanaugh. And in lane five, that's Mary Lauren Burke. Ashland swimmers out to an early lead in lanes two and four. Home team is going to be swimming in two, four, and six. So that's Ashland in two, four, and six. Hopkinton in one, three, and five. Deleva in one. That's uh, Kavanaugh in three. Ashland turns it over. The good lead in both lanes two and two and four. Hopkinton now in the pool. That's Sierra Slushel in lane one. Sam Cody in the center of the pool. And that's uh, Abby Fisher in lane five. Lane three, rather. So Hopkinton in one, three, and five. It'll take me a little while to get used to this because this uh, it's an away meet, but we're at, uh, at Keefe Tech. So Ashland's really laying it out there. They put uh, three men out and one woman. This is a, a league meet, so this is co-ed. You're going to have male and female swimming. So they're going to they're going to try to get out to an early lead here. It looks like as they've got three men swimming, followed by females, single female in the anchor position. Hopkinton in the pool now. We've got Peyton Salyards in lane one. We've got Alex Metsukis in lane three. And Abby Fisher, Alyssa Fisher rather, in lane uh, five. That is Alex Matsukis trying to close the gap a little bit. He's going to turn it over to Blake Briner. We'll see if Blake Briner can gain a little bit on the, uh, on the Ashland swimmers. And he does right off the bat. Two women in for Ashland. Hopkinton's pressing in the middle of the pool. That's Blake Briner. Ashland holding on to a slim lead in lane two. And that's Hopkinton pressing in lane three in the center of the pool. He's pushing, trying to take second place. That's Blake Briner. Briner closing, closing. He's going to run out of pool. Ashland takes one. Hopkinton takes two. Great swim by Blake Briner. And Ashland takes third. Up top, that is Cassie White coming in. And then she's going to take fourth. Hopkinton in lane uh, one. Tyler Fallon 
got caught up in the middle of the pool. That was a good race in the center of the pool, so we uh, missed a couple of swimmers there. Uh, we're going to see if we have a second heat here. It looks like we are going to have a second heat of the 200 medley relay. So for scoring purposes, heat number one is always going to score lean two, is an ex or heat number two is an exhibition. So Hopkinton takes second, first, second, and third in the relays will score. Ashland takes one and two. Good showing by Ashland right out of the box. Ashland is definitely going to be Hopkinton's biggest test in the TVL. So tonight could have some uh, impact in regards to the outcome of the TVL championship. It's early in the season. They, they generally swim later in the season. This is early. Uh, so we're going to see. It's going to test both of the teams. Going to see how well these guys are in shape and how well they are swimming. Uh, when we get organized here, we're going to see if we can get a couple of watches, try to get some times. Uh, we're going to see some quick swims tonight. Like I said, Ashland is, uh, is probably their uh, biggest competition. So medley relay in lane uh, two. Uh, looks like Hopkinton. All right, so in lane one, rather, it's going to be Fletcher Clark, Ryan DeLeva, Holly Burns, Ayababa in lane four in the center of the pool, Ray Lucas, Kayla McCann, Sophia Luce, and Leah Patrick. And then up top in lane uh, five, that's going to be Kate Legassi, Victoria Fisher, Olivia J, and Kaylee Cohane. This is heat number two of the 200 medley relay. Clean start by the swimmers. It's going to go backstroke, breaststroke, butterfly, and freestyle. Good starts by Hopkinton. Lane one, that's Fletcher Clark. Fletch the catch, Clark. Ray Lucas in the center of the pool in lane three, and Kate Legassi up in lane five. Good turns there straight across the pool. Hopkinton with slight lead in lanes one and three. Ashland running second. To those swimmers, that's Fletcher Clark and Ray Lucas both bringing it in, but they're pretty much straight across the pool. Kate Legassi up top. Good swims by everybody across the board. We're going to turn it over to Ryan DeLeva in lane, in lane one, Kayla McCann in lane three, and in lane five, that's going to be Victoria Fisher. So center of pool, that is Kayla McCann up top. That's Katie, that's uh, Victoria Fisher and Ryan DeLeva is closest to us in lane one, but that is not Ryan DeLeva in the pool, so the coaches switched me up already. Unless Ryan DeLeva is starting to wear a women's suit, that is not Ryan DeLeva. Ashland. Ashland begins to take a lead in lanes two and four. Strong breaststrokers by Ashland. They are into the pool for the uh, for the fly. Turning it over, we are going to have, uh, hopefully, uh, in lane one, that's not Holly Burns unless she's wearing a men's suit. Sophia Luce in the center of the pool. Olivia J. will try to figure out who some of the swimmers are. That actually looks like that's Ryan DeLeva. I believe they've switched up. So. Uh, Ryan DeLeva now in the pool for the fly. Uh, in the center of the pool, that is Ashland's lane two and four, but closing pretty uh, quickly is Sophia Luce. She's going to turn it over to Leah Patrick in the center of the pool. That's lane three, Sophia Luce. Great swim by Sophia in the center of the pool. Ryan DeLeva is coming in on the fly, and that is Olivia J up top, turning over to Kayla Cohan. Leah Patrick in the center of the pool. She's closing in on the Ashland swimmers. The Hopkinton sitting in, sitting in second. She's closing in on the lead swimmer. Good turn. Leah Patrick, center of the pool. We've got Aya Baba in lane one and Kaylee Cohane up in lane five. That is Patrick. Patrick closing. Can she hold? Patrick takes it. So the second heat, Hopkinton touches out. Both of the Ashland swimmers takes first. It's Leah Patrick, Ayababa coming in in lane one, and Kaylee Cohane up top. So I got to watch the lineups a little bit. I'm reading from a script here, and Coach is kind of moving people around. So if you see a man, a young man being called in, he's wearing a female suit, that's probably not the young man, as we just found out. As the swimmers swim down to take themselves a little bit of a break, we are... Uh, Going to get lined up for the 200 free, kind of a grueling race um, outside of the 500. It's the longest race, the 200s. This is eight laps of freestyle. Hopkinton is going to put out uh, Ansley Worrell in lane one, Zach Holbrow in lane three, and Aditya Dutta up in lane five. So Ashland now to an early lead, taking one and three in the uh, medley relay. Hopkinton taking second.
Swimmers are up. Clean start. Ansley Warhol's uh, closest to us in lane one. Zach Colbrow up in lane three. And uh, lane five, that's Aditya Dida. Uh, Ashlyn has uh, several good swimmers uh, the floating around, um, led by, let me just find the Pesci's, uh, the Pesci family. Uh, Alex Pesci Jr., um, very good, strong swimmer, and also uh, uh, one of the leaders of the, of the Ashland team. Ashland's out to an early lead, but Hopkinton sitting in two, three, and four, which is a good spot for them to be. Center of the pool, that's Zach Holbrow, Ansley Worrell, and Aditya Duda. When we were lining this up at the end of our last meet, one of the things that we commented on was uh, the depth of Hopkinton and how that may propel Hopkinton to a win tonight, and that's really what they're going to rely on. Ashland may win several of the races, but if Hawkinson can go two, three, and four, they will ga garner more points than Ashland will with a win and fifth. So sitting right now in two, three, and four is right where Hopkinton wants to be with Holbrow in the center of the pool, Aditya Duda and Ansley Worrell, Ainsley Worrell, Ansley Worrell, sorry, uh, uh, swimming really well. So Ashland sitting uh, pretty in the lead, extending that to uh, about a half a length, but Zach Holbrow trying to close. And Ansley Warren and Dietje Duda sitting there in third and fourth. So from a point scoring total, first place is worth six points, second place is worth four, third place is worth three, two, and one. So a four, three, two uh, is gonna outpace a six and one. So even if Hawkinson loses races, but takes two, three, and four, they will be in good position for the meet. So we'll see how it goes tonight. Ashland finishes first. That'll be Zach Holbrow coming in in lane three and second. Worrell looks like she's going to take third. Aditya Duda is going to take fourth. Great swimming by Hopkinton, and this is where their depth is going to help quite a bit. Huge swims by all of the swimmers out there and uh, a good showing by Hopkinton. So we'll take that all night, folks. That's a good way to be. So second, third, and fourth is going to be the, the first and second by a point. It'll be close all night. We're going to go back and forth. So we're going to see. The other thing, too, that we want to pay close attention to is on the diving board. Hopkinton has been diving extremely well this year. Um, some great divers led by uh, the uh, seniors, Brianna Taco, Juliana, uh, Juliana, uh, I'm going to miss it, I think Juliana Lucas, Juliana, uh, I don't have our team in front of us. Uh, give me one sec. Uh, and then uh, the freshman, uh, freshman diver as well, Tess, um, Tess Weatherhead. And we're going to get lined up the 200 IM lane one. That's going to be Allison Fu, center of the pool, Ritesh Rajanigan, and up top, uh, brother of Zach Holbrow, younger brother Tyler Holbrow. Uh, look for Hopkinton to press hard here. See how this runs. Clean start, the two IM is two laps each, a butterfly breast, uh, butterfly back breast and free. Ashland leans two and four out to early lead, followed by Ritesh Rajan again and Tyler Holbrow. Center of the pool, that's Ritesh Rajan again, and up top that's Zach, uh, Tyler Holbrow, followed by Allison Fu in lane one. Look for Allison Fu to close on the uh, breaststroke. She might fall behind in the early, but uh, breaststroke is her, bre is her stroke, so we're going to look for her to close. Ashland is in one and two right now. Lane's lane four and two in the lead as Hopkinton puts Ritesh Rajan again in the center of the pool and Tyler Holbrow up top. Going to need to score some points tonight. It's going to be a long meet. It's going to be back and forth. Said Ashland is strong, good, strong swimmers. What we have to try to avoid tonight is Ashland taking one and two or sweeping any races. So as long as they can avoid that, Hopkinton's going to stay close. As they take the turn, going into the brush stroke. Tyler Holbrow up top. He's sitting in third place, hoping to close. That is Ritesh Rajanigan trying to close. 
They've got some ground to make up. Allison Fu's got some ground to make up in lane one. See what she can do. She is a breaststroker, folks, so let's see what she can do to get herself in the fifth position. Every point's going to count tonight. It's going to be critical. Hopkinson takes the turn. They are still sitting in third, fourth, and sixth. But Ritesh Rajan again trying to close. Tyler Holbrow trying to close. Let's see what they can do. Ashton takes the turn going into the freestyle. They will should win this easily. The question is, can Hopkinson press for second place? That's Tyler Holbrow is going to turn third into the freestyle. Let's see what he can do. And Ritesh Rajan again. Let's see what these guys have left. If they got something in the tank. See if one of these guys can take second place. Rajan again kicking. That's Holbrow kicking. These are important points. They take the turn. It is half a body length between second and third place right now. Fu is trying to close. She's made up some distance. Holbrow digging. I don't know whether he's going to be able to get it. He's digging. This is going to be close. Let's go. Tyler Holbrow gets it. Tyler Holbrow takes second. Great swim. So Ashland's going to take one and three. Hopkinton will take two, four. So strong swims. Strong swims across the board. Some good showing. Allison Fu just couldn't quite get herself in the sixth, in the fifth position, but a good swim by Allison Fu. So we're going to get ready for the 50 freestyle. It is going to be like this all night long, folks. It's going to be like this all night long. Um, Ashland's led by seniors. Bre uh, Beverly Bryan, uh, Michelle Grassberger, um, Vanya Lukashev, Emily Pepper, and uh, Pratit Kadmidwan. So they only graduate five, and they've got some depth in the, depth in the junior class, sophomore class, and freshman class. Ashland led by Coach uh, Ann Meisner. Hopkinton led by second-year head coach Jeff Libby who garnered Coach of the Year uh, awards uh, last year for his accomplishments, first year coach. And uh, he's joined on the sidelines by diving coach Jim Brainerd and coach Karen Terry. 50 freestyle, don't blink, this one's gonna be over folks in about 23 seconds. Blake Briner in lane one, Alex Matsukis in lane three, Cassie White in lane five. Let's see what we can do in the sprint here. Good, clean start. Good start. The 53 is all about the start and the turn. And they are out. That is Matsukis in the center of the pool. Briner up close and Cassie White up top as they take the turn. It looks like that is Ashland in lane four and Ashland in lane two with the lead. Hopkinton's going to have to try to avoid these one twos. Ashland looks strong. That's one and two. That is Matsukis. Hot. Matt Sukis, then Briner, and Cassie White taking sixth place. So Ashland takes one, two, and five. A good showing by Ashland, who's jumped out to an early lead. We're going to have another. We're going to have another. Um, we're going to have another. Going to have another heat of the 50. Some camera adjustments here. <coughs> a little sidetracked. Uh, 53, we're going to have Sean Haley, Tyler Fallon, and Peyton Salyards. Uh, actually, we're going to have, uh, looks like we're going to have two additional heats. So heat number two, Sean Haley, Tyler Fallon, and Peyton Salyards. We'll try to keep, uh, we'll try to get a score from time to time. Uh, usually we'll get one going into the diving. 50 freestyle, second heat. Sean Healy in lane one, Tyler Fallon in lane two, or lane three. Oh, false start, center of the pool. Dive. Swimmers will get back up. A little anxiety in lane two by Ashland. Lane one, Sean Haley, lane three, Tyler Fallon, and up top in lane five, that's Peyton Salyards. Off to a good start in the center of the pool. That's Tyler Fallon. Sean Haley in lane one. They take the turn. That's Fallon in the center of the pool. That's Haley in lane one. And up top, Peyton Salyards with a great swim. Hopkins is going to take one, two, and four. 
by swims by the second heats. So even though these aren't scoring heats, this is important to see because what's going to happen is once we get to the league championship meet, this depth is going to help Hopkinton considerably. So as these swimmers get their confidence behind them, that's going to help considerably when we get to the league meet. We're going to get ready for one more heat. And we've got uh, Carolina Rissman, Connor Murchie, the merch man, and uh, Beatrice Bonacher up in lean five. Pack crowd here tonight at Keith Tech. As we've got parents, we've got f parents of former swimmers, we've got some swimmers back, uh, former swimmers back from college. <clears throat> Everybody's off for um, the holidays on their college breaks. So a couple of uh, ex-Hopkinton and ex Ashland swimmers floating around as we get ready for heat number three. Center of the pool, that's Merchman, Connor Murchie, Carolina Russman, and Beatrice Bonner up in lean five. Out to an early lead, that is the Merchman. Connor Murchie, center of the pool, taking a turn. Hard to see the kids coming out of the turn. Hopkinton's got that section of the pool pretty much blocked off. So as they come out of the turn, so much of a surprise. So that's the merch man in the center of the pool, followed by two Ashland swimmers up top. That's, Pe that's uh, Beatrice Bonacher. And then uh, closest to us in lane one, that is Carolina Russman. So merch takes the heat, followed by Ashland. And then uh, that's uh, Beatrice Bonacher and Carolina Russman. All right, they're going to prep the pool for diving. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to see if we can get you a score. And we will be back for the diving in a couple of minutes. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkey see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. And we are back. Back for the diving. Just our microphones just a little bit here. So we have to get ourselves into our golf announcer mode here as everybody goes quiet during the diving. Now if you hear some rustling in the background, that's, that's just me uh, eating cookies. We get the new flavor of the Girl Scouts, the caramel chocolate chip, so keep you posted. First up for Hopkinton, that's Juliana. Oh, good looking tie. That should start out good. Six and a half, maybe sevens. Six and a half, six and a half, seven and a half. There you go. There you go. Nice back dive. Pike position. Tess is up. Hopkinton's going to have to pick up some uh, some points here. The down 38-24 uh, as Hopkinton, as uh, Ashland's jumped out to an early lead. Oh, that's going to get some eights. We're going to see some eights tonight. Seven and a half, seven and a half, eight and a half. There you go. <laughs> that young lady's been bringing it all season so far. She won the other night, and uh, she's been looking really good on the board. Ashlyn puts the first diver up. Dive a little bit over on the entry, probably five and a half sixes. We got some generous judges tonight. I'm not sure that that was a six. I had it a five and a half. Brianna Taco up by sheer volume and sheer numbers. Hopkinton is going to do well on the board. Another looking, another good looking dive. A little short in the entry, a little short of vertical. That's all right. The generosity of the uh. Well, the divers is helping. Stop. 
Hopkinton will be able to put three divers in the top, the top, uh, the top five. Back dive. Good looking back dive by the Hopkinton diver. Jack Brennan, senior captain up on the board. Also a back dive. Oh, nice looking dive. Should be a six, six and a half, maybe. Oh, good looking. Good looking dives. Half reverse. One and a half back. Seven, six and a half, seven. Nice. I was mistaken. I know that Hopkinton has a young diver. That's actually the Ashland diver. Uh, that young man's the Ashland diver, Josh Landry. Um, I had mistaken him. I know Hopkinton's got a young sophomore diver whose name escapes me. This test is up on the board. A little short on the entry. Uh, not quite enough rotation. Still good score though. Six, six, five and a half. Jim Brainerd being a little critical of his diver there. Ashland puts the first diver up. A sweep here from Hopkinton would uh, would help quite a bit as they trail right now by 14 points, 38-24, going into the diving. Nice looking dive by the actual diver. Good scores. Lower degree of dif difficulty dive though for the Ashton diver than those back one and a half that the Hopkinton divers have been doing. Brianna's up there. So the scoring is such that you take the degree of difficulty multiplied by the score. Nice one and a half pike position versus a tuck. Nice. Good rotation, much higher degree of difficulty. The Ashland diver jumps on the board. Forward dive. Nice dive by the Ashland swimmer. And a little bit easier degree of difficulty, so the scoring, though the scoring is strong, the overall scores are not going to be quite as high as Ashland, as a Hopkinton. Hopkinton swimmers will be out there for higher degree of difficulty dives. They've been diving really well this year so far. Jack Brennan up on the board. Uh, good looking one and a half. Should garner some six and a halfs and sevens. There we go. Should be six and a halves or sevens. Six, six and a half, seven. Yeah. Jim Brainer a little bit stingy with his uh, with his scores. I'm surprised that Coach Brainerd isn't out there in a little more, more colorful uh, garb as we're getting close to the holidays here. I was expecting to see a little bit of you know, green and red as Tess steps up to the board. Oh, good looking dive. Oh, it's got to be an eight in there somewhere. Nice. Six. Oh, my God. What's up with that? That was not a six. It's a nice rotation. Hit the water well. 
man, that hit seven and a half or eight easily. Coach Brainerd, a little stingy, a little grinchy down there. Ashland Diver up on the board. Inward one, didn't quite extend coming in. Time for a cookie right now. Girl Scouts are out selling cookies today. I couldn't resist. What a whole bag. Caramel chocolate chips. Gluten free. These things are good. Jim, another one? Another cookie? All right. Brianna with a back dive. Those are tough. Your momentum's going forward. Momentum's moving forward, and you've got to reverse and dive backwards. It's hard with a straight dive too. With a flip it's a, probably a little bit easier. Tough, tough dive. Ashland's up on the board. A little short in the entry. Scores for Josh. Freshman diver. That was a great looking dive. Jack Brennan gets a lot of height on his dives. Good looking dive. Seven, seven, there you go. There you go. Got great height, good entry into the water. Really good looking dive by Jack Brennan. Forward two in the tuck position. That's a good-looking dive, too. Very nicely done. Fairly high degree of difficulty. Now, we've seen some two-and-a-halves already this year, so. Tess will do the same dive. She's going to do a forward, I think, two in the pike position. Let's see. Nice, nice, nice dive. Oh, I don't know about the five and a half. I think he wants him or her a little bit more vertical on the entry, but a little bit tough. Ashland Diver steps up. Capacity crowd here tonight. Good looking dive, front one and a half, tuck position. Nice score, five and a half and six. Back one and a half. Oh, good looking dive too. Very nicely done. Nice. Strong scores. The Hopkinton Divers have been doing a phenomenal job this year. Good scores, good early scores. I think we've got a couple folks that have already qualified for at least sectionals, if not states. Some really good divers. Diving has really become a mainstay for Hopkinton probably over the last uh, five or six years. We graduated Maddie Staus, who I can see is uh, in the crowd. She's diving out of Denison. She's floating around tonight. A couple other graduated Hopkinton swimmers are down there as well. I think, uh, I'm not sure if the young Miss Annenberg is here. Jack Brennan. Oh, just left it a little short. A little short. Just a little bit short. Good rotation. That's a tough, tough dive. Juliana, back up on the board. The 
started the diving program. Jim Brainerd coaches pretty much everybody in Massachusetts, but he's done a phenomenal job with these divers. And it looks like they've got uh, several that are going to be around for a little bit as well. Inward, oh, nice inward, one and a half. Should be six and a half sevens. Mm, I don't know. I was feeling like a seven on that one. Really not sure why I don't get cards up here as Tess goes up on the board. I should be a I should be a judge. Oh, two and a half. Oh, that was so nice. Very nicely done. I would have been in the seven, seven and a half. Good rotation. She's been pulling that one off nicely. She's a good diver. Tess is only a freshman. So she's got a nice career in front of her. She's been diving for a long time, from what I understand. Good addition to this Hopkinton Hiller squad. Nice dive by the Ashlyn Swan. Diver. After this meet tonight, Hopkinton will have a, a little bit of time off, and then uh, we're back here at Keith Tech for a boys meet on January 5th. Uh, I don't have the schedule in front of me. We might have another meet, but I don't believe we're here at Keith Tech. Another good-looking dive. Snail on her dives tonight. Six and a half, seven, seven. Yeah. Good scores. Definitely that's solid seven. aren't, I don't think, have their order memorized, so they listen to the announcer as she tells them what they're going to be doing. I'll we'll have a, a routine of five dives. Back dive with a half twist. Four and a half across. Four and a half across by all three judges. Nice dive as well. Back one and a half with a twist. Six and a half, seven and a half, seven. Good. Good, good scores, good dives. Appropriate scores. We were hoping we might get uh, some of the team captains up here to talk with us. We're having we're having uh, headset difficulties, so you're just going to have to listen to my voice all afternoon. A little bit over on the entry. Too bad she got great height. It was really vertical. Yeah, she'll be disappointed in that. Again, same thing. Your momentum is going in one direction. Momentum is going in one direction, and you've got to reverse that dive and try to get vertical for the entry. Tess up on the board. Inward one and a half. Oh. Yeah, I would have put that in the seven and a half or eight. First two judges a little bit stingy there. Backward dive. Backward one in the open position. And a half twist. And Breeze back up on the board.
forward two, tuck position. Ashen's dry, diver. So I would say right now that it looks like Hopkinton should sweep the diving, which will uh, pick them up 13 points and bring them within a couple of points. Ashen will pick up probably fourth and fifth, pick up three points. So Hopkinton's going to close the gap. So coming out of the diving, by my calculations, it should be a four point lead by Ashland as we go into the second half of the meet. Jack Brennan up on the board. When we conclude the diving, we'll go into the 100 fly and then the 100 free, 500 free, a couple of races. Jack Brennan. Oh, good looking, nice inward one and a half. Should be seven, seven and a half. There you go. Crowd reacts. You can hear them in the background. Very pleased with that. All right, so diving has concluded. That was faster. I didn't know Jack was the last diver. We're going to take a break as they get the pool ready uh, for a quick warm-up, and we'll be back shortly. Did you know there are other ways to reduce your pain besides taking medications? For example, mindfulness. I'm Dr. Mike Guidi, family medicine doctor based in Essex County. I use mindfulness techniques with my own patients during office visits, and I'm here to tell you how it can prevent addiction. It is a way to train your brain to manage pain. Reducing your pain through mindfulness could mean you need less medication or a safer type of medication. It can also help you reduce your stress and recover from past trauma. That means you become less likely to develop an addiction, whether opioids, alcohol, or any other substance. In brain research, we scan people's brains before they start practicing mindfulness and after they've been practicing it daily for eight weeks. We see actual changes in the way their brains are wired. We see those people drawing more on their judgment and reasoning skills, resulting in safer behaviors. Massachusetts has great resources about effective mindfulness techniques. To find out more, go to massmed.org. Going to announce the diving. Hop. Ashen takes fifth place. Ashland's going to take fifth, fourth, and fifth place, which means Hopkinton has swept the diving, which is great. Brian Taco, 224 in third place. Jack with 229, second place. That means Tess has won again. Well, 254. Great score, five dives. So Hopkinton sweeps. That, that by my calculations, it means Hopkinton now enters the fly. They are down by only four points. So they've erased a 14-point deficit, got it down to single digits, which means the second half of this meet's going to be a free-for-all. So Hopkinton's going to put three swimmers out for the 100 fly, closest to us in lane one, that's Sophia Luce. Center of the pool, that is Tyler Holbrow and Ritesh Rajanigan. Ashland puts swimmers in lanes two, four, and six. Each team throwing down two men and one young lady. 100 fly. A little feedback on that. Center of the pool, it's Tyler Holbrow. Ritesh Rajan again, Sophia Luce. Swimmer straight across, 100 fly, four laps of the pool. Ashland out to a quick lead, half a body length, but Holbrow holding close. It's going to be a good race for Jonigan right there as well. So Ashland in one and two with Hopkinton close behind in lanes three and five. Rajanigan, Holbrow, Holbrow center of the pool, retest Rajanigan up top. 
Sophia Lu, she's in fifth place right now, should hold that. Need some push here. Got to keep Ashman from taking one and twos. Hopkinton pushing. Tyler Holbrow trying to close on lane four. Their body length ahead. Ashland in lane two. Doing well. Holbrow trying to close. He's a body length behind. Looks like Ashland's going to take one and two. Tyler Holbrow is going to take third. Ritesh Rajanigan will take fourth. And Sophia Luce is going to take fifth. So Ashton takes one and two. Tough swims. They look good. They look good. So one, two by Ashlyn. Hopkinton takes three, four, and five. And we get ready for the 100 freestyle. Hopkinton's going to put out Mary Lauren Burke in lean one, Aditya Duda in lean three, and Abby the Fish Fisher in lane five. Ashland counters with swimmers in two, four, and six. They're going to put down two men and a young lady up in lane six. Ashland notoriously has been strong in the freestyle events. Look for Hopkinton to pick themselves up a little bit in the breaststroke and the backstroke. So we'll watch these later races, see how we do. That is Mary Lauren Burke in lean one. Aditya Duda in lean three. Abby Fisher in lean five. Aditya Duda holding his own right now between two Ashland swimmers. Ashland lean two, Ashland lean four, and lane four center of the pool. That I believe is Alex Pesci. Dietje Duda pressing right now. If he can take second place, that's going to be some big points, and they could use him in the uh, lean closest to us. That's Mary Lauren Burke up top. That's Abby the Fish Fisher. ML Burke and Abby Fisher trying to take four and five. See if Dietje Duda can move himself into second place as they come down the home stretch. Not sure that's going to be as Ashland looks to take one and two again. Center of the pool, Ashland one, Ashland two. Aditya did a good swim. Held his own for the first 50. Just didn't quite have enough. Hopkinson takes three, four, and five. Ashland's going to begin to open their lead back up again. Let's see what we've got for the... Uh, we're going to have, a, I think, a couple of second heats here for the 100 free we are. Um, Hopkinson's going to have Stephanie Kapalis. Uh, Holly Burns and uh, uh, Marina Graziana. Let's just make sure the bathing suits match up with the names here. It looks like it does. That's a good thing. A couple of scratches. What Hopkinton's going to have to do is really press once they get into the five free, the two free relay, 100 back and the 100 breast. Ashland put a big contingent of men out in the medley relay uh, and only uh, swimmers can only swim two relays uh, two individual events and one relay uh, two relays and two individual events so it'd be interesting to see how this plays out but right now Ashland's open to lead back up with two one twos in the last two events Second heat here of the 100 freestyle, Stephanie Kapalis, Holly Burns, and Marina Graziana. The Ashland swimmer rocking back and forth. Needs to hold steady. Clean start. Up top, that is uh, Marina Graziano in lane five, out to a quick early lead. Holly Burns and Stephanie Kapalis in lanes three and one. At the turn, that is Graziana up top in lane five. Center of the pool battling for third place. That is Holly Burns. And in lane one, that is Stephanie Kapalis. Graziana, nice looking swim up there up top, being chased by and challenged by Ashland Swimmer in lane six. Hopkinson Swimmer's looking good. 
Marina Graziano up top in lane five. She looks like she's going to hold. Let's see if she's got it for the turn. Coming in for the last 25, center pull. Holly Burns and Stephanie Kapalis in lane three, or lane one closest to us. That's going to be Graziano coasting to victory. A great looking swim. Pressing in the center of the pool, that's Holly Burns. She opens up a little bit more of a lead. Challenged in lane one. That's uh, Stephanie Kapalis being challenged. She's going to hold off the Ashland swimmer as well. Hawkinson going one, three, and four. Non scoring heat, but good looking swims. A lot of depth by this out Hawkinson team. That's going to be important. <coughs> as I said earlier, we get into the championship meet. So right now, we'll try to get a score, maybe to get ready to go into uh, the 500 freestyle. Hopkinton is going to put out two gentlemen and one young lady. We've got um, we've got Andrew DeLeva in lane one. We've got Zach Holbrow in lane three, and a list of Fish Fisher up in lane five. Ashton's going to counter with two gentlemen in lane. Gentleman in lane two, gentleman in lane four, and a young lady in lane six. Co-ed meets. Co-ed meets where both men and women swim together. There are co-ed relays and races that are co-ed. If this were both a men and women's meet, it would be interesting to see the outcome because Hopkinton has considerably more depth on the women's side than Ashland, it's showing tonight as they are swimming really well. A lot of depth on the men's side. Ashland's men swimmers quick. A lot of one twos. We'll see how Ashland continues to deploy its swimmers as Hopkinton is a little bit behind right now. We'll see what they can do to try to pick up some points here as we go into the 500 free. Andrew Deleva, Zach Holbrow, Alyssa Fisher. Clean start. Ashland, good start in the center of the pool. Zach Holbrow in lane three. Alyssa Fisher up in lane five. Andrew DeLeva in lane one. First turn, grueling rakes, 500 freestyle. This is 20 laps of the pool, and unfortunately, you're going to have to listen to me for all 20 laps. Hopkinton sitting strong right now in second, third, and fourth. As that is in the middle of the pool, list the fish, Fisher, and uh, Zach Holbrow, Andrew DeLever in lane one. Ashland out to a decent sized lead. Two body lengths out in the center of the pool as we turn lap three. Hopkinton, Hopkinton can go two, three, four. That's fine. They pick up more points, so uh, they'll begin to whittle away. It's unlikely that Hopkinton's going to win a lot of races tonight. However, if they can go two, three, four, the point totals will eclipse Ashland's point totals. Every point's going to count tonight. So Andrew DeLeva here in lane one is a critical swimmer as he begins to open up a lead in fourth place here over the Ashland swimmers in lanes two and six. Center of the pool, that's Ashland taking the turn. Ashland now to an early lead. And that is the list of Fish Fisher, and that is Zach Holbrow, center of the pool. Good looking swims by both of them. It'd be nice to see somebody pick up and challenge the Ashland swimmer in the center of the pool. He's got about a half a pool length lead. Uh, Fisher is trying to press. She's up in lane five. Good stroke. Zach Holbrow, he's just a grinder there in the center of the pool. Love watching that young man swim. And that's Andrew DeLeva as he begins to open up his lead for fourth place. Two, three, four works for Hopkinton. Be nice to see him press a little bit. I'm not sure that that's going to happen as the Ashland swimmer opens up about a half a pool length lead looking strong in the center of the pool as they flip and we're nearing the halfway point. Fisher lean five takes the turn lean three that is Holbrow. Lane one coming up now that's Andrew DeLeva. Ashland steady in the center of the pool. Nice stroke nice swim. As he comes to turn about halfway through, turns on lap number 10. We're halfway through the race as the Ashland swimmer swims, takes his turn. Halfway through, Fisher, Holbrow pushing each other. 
Both look good in the pool. List the fish. Fisher looks strong. Zach Holbrow, center of the pool, looks good. Andrew DeLeva opening up that lead in fourth place, stretching it out. He looks good. 2-3-4 here works for Hopkinton. Helps them with their point totals. Ashland in the lead right now, both in this race and in the meet. Center of the pool, lanes three and five. Holbrow, Fisher, DeLeva in lane one. As they take the turn. Tough, tough race. It's all about pace, all about stroke. Center of the pool, Ashland looks pretty strong. Ashland Swimmer's going to take this. We still have seven laps to go, but he looks good. He's almost got a full, full length lead. He won't be caught. However, if, Ash, if Hopkinton holds out, takes two, three, four, we'll take that as the point totals will exceed Ashland's point totals. Holbrow Fisher turn together. They are neck and neck. Vying for second and third. Andrew DeLeva in lane one. He will op continues to open up his lead for fourth place. DeLeva takes a turn in lane one. Fisher and Holbrow up at the other end of the pool. For those of you watching at home, swimmers are swimming right to left and then left to right. Funny how that works. Holbrow, Fisher pushing each other. They have now lapped the Ashland swimmer. Ashland in the center of the pool coming down. They're still in the lead. About a full length lead right now. He looks strong in the center of the pool. Bell lap. Two laps left to go. Ashland gets the bell lap. Holbrow takes a turn first. Fisher right behind him. Zach Holbrow grinding it out. Alyssa Fisher looks good in the water. Andrew DeLeva, he turns. He's got a couple laps left to go. Holbrow and Fisher coming in to take their final turn. 18 laps completed. They will have two more. DeLeva up top. He turns on his 17th lap. Ashland coming in. They're going to win easily. Ashland swimmer glides into the wall. A nice swim in the center of the pool by Ashland. Holbrow's open up about a body length leap on Alyssa Fisher. Both look strong. Hopkinton coming down right now as DeLeva takes his turn. He's got two laps left. Holbrow grinding it out. He's going for time. Zach Holbrow is going to take second. Alyssa Fish Fisher up top. She's going to take third. As Andrew DeLeva at the top of the pool takes his turn for his final 25 yards. She kicks it in, coming down at the uh, bottom end of our screen here. Can't see him just yet. There he is. And Andrew DeLeva coming in. He's going to take fourth. Hopkinson takes two, three, four. They're going to out point total Ashland in this race uh, as they cut the lead by one. Ashland still holding the lead. We're going to get ourselves ready for the 200 free relay. While the Ashland swimmers are still wrapping up, they're both on their final 25 coming in. The two free relay is going to see Sean Haley, Yiming Fang, Deidre Belger, uh, Marina Graziano in lane one. Cassie White, Tyler Halbrow, Deidre Dudu, and Tyler Fallon are going to be in the center of the pool. Angelie War, Ritesh Rajan again, Colin Tyne, and Mary Lauren Burke. Colin Il Dolfino back in the water after. A devastating injury, he cut his foot, picked up some stitches. He's been out of the water for a little while. So it'll be good to see old Dolfino back in the water. Look for him, the third leg up top in lane five. Haven't seen the cape by old Dolfino yet this year, this year, but we're looking forward to it. That boy's got personality. So leading off, it's going to be Sean Haley, Cassie White, and Ainsley Worrell. 200 free relay, each swimmer swimming 50 yards of the pool, all freestyle. Ashland will counter in leans two, four, and six.
Referee gets a set. Referee Kelly Pierce. First heat of the 200 free. Haley, White, Worrell. Clean start. Good start by the Ashland Swimmers in the center of pools, lane two and four. Hopkinton straight across the pool in lanes one, three, and five. Ashland turns first. Lanes two and four. Ashland, Hopkinton chasing in lanes one, three, and five. That is Haley, White, and Worrell. First to come in, that's going to be Sean Haley. As Ashland puts the second swimmers into the pool, Hopkinton does as well. We're going to go to Yiming Fang in lane one, Tyler Holbrow in lane three. Ritesh Rajanigan up in lane. Nope, that's not Ritesh Rajanigan. They flipped me around again. I believe that's Il Dolfino up there in lane five. Mixing up the uh, swimmers here. Ashland opening up in lanes two and four, putting two women into the pool now. Hopkinton up top. Colin Tyne closing out. That's Ritesh Rajanigan going in. Aditya Duda is going to hit the center of the pool. Ritesh Rajan again, Aditya Duda trying to chase down the Ashland swimmers. Ashland still holding out on a decent sized lead. They're trying to close on the second on lane uh, four. Ashland to put the swimmers in in lane two. Ashland goes in in lane four. Ashland goes in. Tyler Fallon in the center of the pool. Mariana Graziana in lane one. And Mary Lauren Burke up in lane five. I'm not sure Hopkinton's going to catch Ashland here. We'll see what they can do. That is uh, Tyler Fallon trying to chase down Ashland in the center of the pool. This one's going to hurt, folks. One, two, and a relay is going to hurt. That's some big points. Ashland takes one, two. Hopkinton takes three, four. And coming in here in lane one, Mariana Graziano. Or Gianzana. I keep on I'm adding letters to her name. Gianzana making her more Italian than I think she already is. So a tough swim there by Hopkinton in the relay as Ashlyn takes one, two. Relays are scored six, four, and two. So that's 10 points to Hopkinton's two. An eight point pickup in Ashland. Good to see Colin Thine back in the, uh, back in the pool. He had a nice, uh, a nice second uh, second leg in the uh, in the relay. We're going to put another group of uh, relays out here for the two free. We're going to have uh, in lane one Stephanie Capalis, Mia Carboni, Olivia J, Beatrice Bonacher, Cher Schlissel, Leah Patrick, Kaylee Cohen, and Sophia Luce in the center of the pool. Carolina Russman, Ray Lucas, Aya Baba, and Connor Murchie, the merch man up top in lane uh, five. Lane one, Stephanie Kapalis, lane two, Sierra Slusha in lane three, Carolina Russman. Swimmers are off, clean start. Ashland counters with teams in lanes two and four. Again, second heat, 200, 200 free relay. Kapalis in lane one. I'm sorry. Yes, Kapalis in lane one. Slussel in lane three. Russman in lane five. Center of the pool, it's a race between Slussel and Ashland as they hand off to the second swimmers. That is Leah Patrick going in near Carboni. Closes us in lane one. And up top, that is Ray Lucas. Hopkinton center of the pool, that is Leah Patrick. Ray Lucas up top, and that's Mia Carboni closest to us in lane one. It's a race in the center of the pool between Ashland and Leah Patrick. She's going to turn it over to Kaylee Cohen. Good start, clean start, clean start lane one. That's Olivia Jay going in the water from Mia Carboni. And up top in lane five, Ray Lucas closed up a little bit of real estate, Ayababa. Ayababa up top in lane six, but the race is in the center of the pool. That is Leah, uh, Kaylee Cohen battling against Ashland. Hawkinson's moved in the first place. Kaylee Cohen, she's going to turn it over to Sophia Luce. Cohen takes the lead, hands it off to Luce. Luce in the pool. 
Up top, or closest to us, that's Olivia J. Turned over to Beatrice Bonacher. Loose is holding, and up top, that is Connor Murchie, the merch man, going in, in lean. Five, turn up top, that's Sophia Loose. Hopkinton in the lead, half a body length. Being chased by Ashland, but that's not going to get, she's not going to get caught. Sophia Loose bringing it home. Good looking swim. The battle now for third place. Ashland has surpassed, unfortunately, Beatrice Bonacher in lane two in the Connor Merch up top. So Hopkinton goes one, th uh, one, four, and five. Good looking swims by all the swimmers. So they're going to take themselves a little bit of break. Swim back, give themselves a little bit of time. To move back to our base lineup again. We'll have two heats of the uh, 100 backstroke, it looks like, as well. 100 backstroke follows now. We've got three races left. Not sure Hopkinton's going to be able to catch Ashland doing some mental math. I think they've just uh, been a little bit too strong tonight, although Hopkinton is swimming really well. We'll wait for the final score before we put a fork in this one, but the kids are swimming strong and they're battling. Uh, Ashland looks like they might be a little bit too much tonight, but we got three races rest left. We're going to start with the 100 backstroke, then the 100 breaststroke, and then the four free relay. Four free relay might just be for bragging rights, but we'll see how that shows, how that plays out. Under backstroke closest to us, Abby the Fish Fisher, Grace Cavanaugh, and Blake Brainer. Swimmers in the water, 100 backstroke, four lengths of the pool. On your back, just looking up at the roof. It's not a pretty roof either, folks. That is Fisher closest to us, Grace Cavanaugh, Blake Reiner, Abby Fisher in lane one, Grace Cavanaugh in lane three, Blake Reiner up in lane five. They are straight across the pool, coming into the first turn. Ashland a slight lead in lane four, chased by Abby Fisher, Blake Reiner. In lane one, that is, I'm sorry, that's Grace Cavanaugh. So we've got Briner and Cavanaugh chasing Ashland in lane four. Battling for fifth and possibly fourth position is Abby Fisher in lane one. That'd be some nice pickup points. Grace Cavanaugh's got to hang on in the center of the pool. She's being challenged in lane two by Ashland. Blake Briner trying to hold on to the second place, pushing hard. See what Cavanaugh can do in the center of the pool. Got to dig deep. She's been surpassed by the Ashland swimmer. The Ashland swimmer in lane two is now challenging Blake Briner. Ashland's going to take one. Briner up in lane five, trying to hold on to second place, and he does. Ashland takes third. And then that is Abby Fisher taking fourth and Grace Cavanaugh taking fifth. So Hopkinton goes two, four, and five as we get ready for the second heat of the 100 backstroke. Closest to us in lane two, or uh, lane one, Ryan DeLeva. In lane three, Fletch, the catch, Clark. And up top, that is Kate Legassi in lane five. So all the swimmers are lined up at the end of the pool, cheering on their teammates. Following the second heat of the 100 backstroke, we will go into the 100 breaststroke. Hopkinton generally shows pretty well in the 100 breaststroke. They'll put Fu, Matsakis, Matsukis, and uh, Cody out there. And uh, we will uh, take a look and see how Hopkinton fares after we get through this second heat. As the swimmer swim down, take the time getting out of the pool as if we have nowhere to go tonight. Don't they know there's shopping to be done? Oh, goodness. All right, they are in the pool closest to us. Ryan DeLeva, Fletcher Clark, Kate Legassi. See what Hopkinton can do. Clean start, center of the pool. Fletcher Clark. Kate Legassi still is yet the surface. There she is. 
Ryan DeLeva closes us in lane one. It's DeLeva and Clark taking the turn. There's six across. Good turns, clean turns. Fletcher Clark, center of pool, Ryan DeLeva closest, and that's Kate Legassi battling up there. Lane five. Coming down, we got DeLeva. We've got Clark, Legassi, Legassi up in five. DeLeva taking a turn. Got five swimmers straight across. Looking for Fletcher Clark to pick it up just a little bit in the center of the pool. Come on, Fletch, dig, buddy. That's Ryan DeLeva closest to us. Ashland, Kate Legassi trying to battle for second place. She's only got 25 left to go. Let's see what she can do. DeLeva looks like he's going to see if he can hold on. Kate Legassi, let's see if she can dig. She's in second place right now. Challenged by Ashland in lane six. Come on, sense of urgency. DeLeva, DeLeva's now sub giving up the lead. They're straight across. This is going to be pretty close. We've got Ashland in lane six. Legassi lane five. It is Ashland. Kate Legassi, Ryan DeLeva, Ashland, and then coming in in sixth place, that is Fletch the Catch Clark. So good showing by the uh, Hopkinton swimmers. Tough race all the way around, some lead changes there. Interesting swims. Nicely done. That was heat number two. So swimmers are going to swim down. Okay, I guess they are. Like I said, we've got nowhere to be. All right. So we wait for the swimmers to get to the other end. Get ourselves ready for the 100 breaststroke. We get the Foo Fighter, Allison Foo in the center. Uh, lane one, Alex Matsukas up in lane three, and Sam Cote, the man bun, in lane five. Hopkinton generally puts out good breaststrokers, so let's see what we can do here. Be a big moral boost if we can uh, if we can do something here. First place would be really nice. Sit really well. Let's see what we got. Matsukas in the center of the pool. Cody up top, and that's Allison Fu, the Foo Fighter, closest to us. Good start in the center of the pool by Matsukas. Out to an early lead. Cody pushing it second. The Foo Fighter hanging in there at fourth. That's Matsukas taking the turn. He's going out strong. Cody, the man bun, up at five, chasing for second. Pressing. Matsukas looks good, center of the pool. He's got a body length lead. That's Cody battling for second place. Turn. That's Matsukas, Foo Fighter. She's hanging in there in fifth place right now. She's pressing for fourth. Center of the pool, Matsukas. He's got a half a body length lead against Ashland. Sam Cody, a half a body length lead. Half a body behind Ashland in third. Matsukas pushing, cheered on by his teams. Take the turn. Good pull out. Ashland closing. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's close. It's Matsukas center of the pool being challenged by Ashland. Matsukas pushing. Ashland challenging. Matsukas down by half a body length. Tough, tough race. He's going to get beat just at the end. Good strength at the end by Ashland. Matsukas went out fast, just could not hold it. 2-3, Cody takes fifth, uh, third place up in the lane five. That is Fu taken fifth in lane one. Tough, tough race. Matsukas really put it out there. Looked good. Got touched out just at the end there by Ashland. Went out strong. I think that's the way to do the race, though. Wouldn't change anything on that one. Going to get that uh, stamina. Just going to be able to hold towards the end. Half a body length just at the end. The swimmers swim down. Tough, tough race. I think that would have been a moral as well as a good victory for Hopkinton to take a to take a first. Unfortunately, just got touched out. Thought we had it there, folks. Good, good race. As we are going to come into a uh, second heat of the 100 breaststroke, I guess Coach doesn't think we got anything to do tonight either. As we're going to put another breaststroke team out there. Just kidding. We got plenty of time, and I'm sure everybody's holiday shopping is already done. So. There's no need. Pierce Farrell's going to be in lane one. Deidre Belger in lane three. And Victoria Fisher is going to be up top in lane five. Ashton counters with a young lady in two and two gentlemen in lane four and six. So we are coming close to uh, the end of this particular meet. Pierce Farrell, lane one. Deidre Belger and Victoria Fisher. Clean start. Swimmers in. 
Center of the pool, it's the Belger. Challenged by Ashland in lean four. Lean one, closest to us, Pierce Farrell. Victoria Fitzgerald up in lean five. Belger, center of the pool. Deidre Belger takes the turn, second place. With Fisher and Farrell not far behind. Ashland opens up about a body length lead in the center of the pool. Chased by Deidre Belger. Challenged now by Ashland in lean two. Pierce Farrell in lane one, and Victoria Fisher up top in lane five. At the turn, Belger now in third place. Preston trying to get back in second place. Deidre Belger. Pierce Farrell closest us in lane one. Victoria Fisher up top in lane five. Belger, Belger Preston trying to pick back, put herself back in the second place. Ashland takes turn in the center of the pool. Opening up a lead in the center of the pool in lane four, Ashland and Ashland open up a little bit of a lead in lane two in the second place as well. That's Belger sitting in third. See what the Hopkinton swimmers can do. That's Deidre Belger right now in third, being challenged a little bit by the Ashland up in lane six. Ashland takes first. It's gonna be Belger sitting in lane three. Pierce Farrell closest to us and Victoria Fisher up in lane five. Victoria Fisher's gonna press, try to get herself ahead. Yes, she does. So that's Belger in third, Fisher in fourth, and Pierce Farrell takes sixth. As Hopkinton swimmers pushing themselves hard tonight. A lot of spirit in this team. Pressing hard, difficult meet tonight. Ashland's been, uh, been strong the last couple of years. They look good tonight. And uh, we don't have the score yet, but I think it's going to be an Ashland victory as we go into the final, the final event. Uh, we'll wait for the final score. But Ashland has looked really strong tonight. It's an early, early uh, meet. Generally, Ashland and Hopkinton swim a little bit later in the season. Uh, we usually see them swimming in late January, uh, senior nights and late January. And uh, it's an early meet for these guys this year. So. We'll see how the uh, how the swimmers progress. Ashland looks strong. Hopkinton's looking good tonight too. A lot of good swims by all their swimmers. Some tight races. The divers look phenomenal. Sweeping the diving highlighted tonight. Obviously, we're getting ready to the 400 freestyle. We're going to have in lane one: Kayla McCann, Yuming Fang, Connor Murchie, and Mia Carboni. Center of the pool: Ritesh Rajanigan, Alyssa Fisher. Zach Holbrow, Alex Metsukis, he's going to come back and anchor after that 100 breast. Tough one. El Dolfino, Colin Thine up in lane six leading us, or lane five leading us off, followed by Tyler Holbrow, Grace, Grace Cavanaugh, and Aditya Dutta. So McCann, Rajanigan, Thine, challenged by Hot by Ashland. Miss what we were cheering about because I was talking, but that happens a lot. Final event of the evening. This is bragging rights. Let's see what Hopkinton can do. McCann, Rajanigan, Colin Thine, center of the pool. That is Ashland. Good start. Challenged by Colin Thine up in lane five. Well, Dolfino looks good. Don't hit your ankle, buddy. That's fine. Rajan again challenging for second place. Ashland in the center of the pool. Closest to us is Kayla McCann. Lane one. Rajan and Tyne swimming well together. Rajan again. Colin Fine chasing down. Hall, uh, uh, Ashland in the center of the pool. Ashland lane four takes a turn. They will hand off. Colin Thine, good looking swim. Welcome back, Colin Thine. He's up top in lane five. He's going to turn over to Tyler Holbrow. Ashland puts their swimmer in the pool. Ritesh was on again. He's going to turn over to Alyssa Fisher. Let's see if we can chase these guys down and get a victory here for Hopkinton. Pulling hard. That's Alyssa Fisher and Tyler Holbrow digging deep, chasing down Ashland, who's got about a a quarter of a pool length. Let's see what we can do. Swimmers coming out of the pool looking pretty tired. Rajan again spent. Good swims. Ashland in the center of the pool. That is 
Holbrow, Chasen, Alyssa Fisher in the center of the pool. Yuming Fang is in lane one. Fisher being challenged now in lane two by, by uh, Ashland. Ashland turns in lane four. Holbrow. Ashland's opened up its lead a little bit here. See what Hopkinton can do. Get somebody in the pool here. Ashland's now taking over second position. And that is Holbrow turning over. He's going to turn over to Grace Cavanaugh. And that's Zach Holbrow going in in the center of the pool. Oh, that's not Zach Holbrow going in the center of the pool. Yes, it is. All right. We get Grace Cavanaugh up top, Zach Holbrow. Let's see what we can do to press. Ashland's got a big lead in the center of the pool. Hopkins are trying to chase him down and see if we can take second place back, try to close the lead a, bit, a, a little bit. So Hopkinton now, Fisher, Grace Cavanaugh rather, she's taken over second place. Holbrow doing the same thing, he's chasing hard. Closing on, on Ashland in the center of the pool. Let's see what we got here. And then that's gonna be Matt Sukas in the center of the pool and Aditya Duda. Let's see what these guys can do. We're down by about a half a half a pool length. I'm not sure they're gonna catch. But that is Holbrow just digging in deep. They've got, they've taken second place back. Kavanaugh, Holbrow. Matsuk is in the center of the pool. Great start, let's see what he can do. I think Ashland's too strong in the center of the pool, but let's see what we got. Aditya Duda in lane five, he's out there quickly. Let's see how these guys do. Let's see if we can close down just a little bit here. Ashland, center of the pool. That's Matsukas. Aditya Duda. Matsukas looks good. He just finished the 100 breaststroke. That kid's got some guts. Alex Matsukas takes the turn. That's Aditya Duda up top. And that's Mia Carboni in the pool in lane one. Matsukas trying to hunt him down. I don't think he's going to catch him, but what a valiant effort, especially after a just a tough, tough 100 breaststroke as well. Matsukas, he's up top in the anchor leg. It looks like Ashland's gonna win this one. Ashland will take first, Hawkington will take second and third. That is Matsukas, Duda. Good swims. A lot of guts here by these folks. Good swims by Hawkington. Uh, lane one, we got Mia Carboni. Can't forget about her in the pool. She's in lane one. She's battling for sixth place right now, fifth place. Let's see how this one ends up. A battle between lane six and lane one. Ashland's a little bit ahead. Carboni digging, digging, digging. Let's see what we got, that's Ashland. Ashland's gonna touch out Mia Carboni. Kind of the story of the night tonight. Good swim. Awful lot of pride in the pool tonight. Hopkinton looked really strong. We're going to give it a couple of minutes. We're going to hear a final score. And uh, then we're going to settle in. We're going to finish uh, up with the cheers, the team cheers. Uh, my suspicion is that um, Ashland has won this meet. We'll wait for the final score. They look strong tonight, folks. But Hopkinton battled. Hopkinton's got a lot of depth. Those second and third heats that you were seeing are going to, are going to really help them when we get to the league championship meet. So in a head-to-head -head battle, uh, tough one tonight. We'll wait for the final score. So starting to tally that up right now. We'll put this last, uh, last heat together. Coaches pull their teams in. They're going to have a quick conversation. Then we're going to hear some cheers. We always guess to see what we, uh, what we get for the team cheers at the end of the night. We've heard a lot of potato chip, potato chip. We've heard some toothpaste. Campbell's Campbell's, we love soup. Not really sure what's coming. Let's see what Hopkinton's got. Look like they're getting ready to go. Listen up for the cheer here. Hands in. Wow, that's a new one. Bees, bees, we like honey. We think Ashland is cash money. Ooh, like that one. Inventive. Ashland was cash money tonight. They look good. Look good in the pool, I think. All right, potato chip, potato chip, and we've got some final scores coming up.
97-87. A good showing by Hopkinton. Ashland just a little bit too much for them tonight as the teams are going to go shake hands and spread whatever germs they're all carrying onto one another. It's just going to add to the illness that's going around, but they're all on break, and they're going to enjoy that. So we'll wrap up as the teams will sit here shaking hands. A good showing by Hopkinton tonight as they go 2-1 and one in the Tri-Valley League, and I believe that is Ashland's first Tri-Valley League meet as they, uh, they pick up their first victory. A good victory it was. Hopkinton looked strong. Ashton just had a little bit too much firepower on the pool for them tonight. As we uh, conclude here on the uh, 22nd of December, high above the pool at Keefe Tech, we will uh, wrap this one up 97-87. Ashton with a win. Hopkinton falls to 2-1 in the Tri-Valley League. My thanks to Jim Thine up there in the camera, taking the uh, place of Raj, Raj Rajanigan. This is Kevin Legassi. We're going to sign off, and we will see you in a couple of weeks at the next home meet for the Hopkinton Pillars.